Hello everyone, my name is Enzo Carter and welcome to Enzo Science. Today we're going to be installing a one terabyte SSD in this Dell Precision 7530 computer because I just got this computer and it doesn't have a hard drive in it and I, I'd rather it have. All right, the first step is to have your tools. I like to have two sizes of screwdriver just in case I screwed it up. Um, the drive, of course, you need, you need that. And then the computer, flip over and just unscrew the screws on the back here. All right, now the next step is to remove the battery. Because every time you're working with a computer, you remove the battery first because you don't want to get shocked. So this tab right here is how you remove the battery. All right, that's done. And then there's two screws, and then there's two screws attaching the battery, which I'm going to remove. Now, now. it's important whenever you're working with like a computer to have an area to put screws, because these tiny screws will get lost. I like to have like a, a contrasting material, so the black screws on the white napkin. Um, yeah, so now we're going to remove the battery. Now that the battery's removed, we can pick a spot to put our solid state drive here. Now these two and this are, three, are the three places where I think where I'm thinking of putting my solid state drive. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters where it gets put as long as you remember the number, as each of these will have a number. This one's already loosened, as I think that screw's stripped out. <laughs> but this is uh, M.2, number four. Now, the M.2 is important. That's the size of the, of the solid state drive. And you can see this one is M.2. I'm gonna go open up this package and then we'll get it in. All right, we have this open here. We're going to take the SSD, install it into that slot there. Now, m note where the, the screw hole is on this and where the secondary screw, screw is here. This is not the screw for the cover. This is the screw specifically for the solid state drive. So, you're going to insert it in here. You can see how it'll fit right in there. And then I'm also gonna loosen the screw out first. All right, now when you're sliding it in there, it should be pretty obvious where to push it, but make sure there's no uh, of the metal, none of the metal contacts are exposed. That means it's fully in there. And then tighten down this screw such that this thing won't flip up at all. You can test it a little bit, but generally be careful. Now I'm just going to reattach the lid that goes right here, just like so. Well, I'm gonna put this. All right, don't forget to remove the tape on the heatsink before you install it. I almost made that mistake. All right, now that it's been installed, uh, you can put the battery back. All right, for the next segment of the video, I will be actually setting up the computer with this new hard drive.
All right, this is the best way I can actually capture the screen because I obviously can't screen record on a device that literally didn't have a hard drive not too long ago. So I've never actually had to do this before. So this is gonna be a learning experience for the both of us. All right, so I got the computer to turn on. Now before, it, the error at the top did not say time of day not set. It instead had said um, no hard drive detected. So it does see the hard drive. Hopefully that's what that means. So it wants us to run the setup program, which I'm gonna assume is the setup utility. So I'm gonna hit F2. Now we're gonna to go to date time. So that's what it said the error was. The, today is the, um, it's April. All right, I have the USB stick with the Windows 10 uh, creation media, and I'm just going to plug it in here. All right, that seems to work, and then I'm just going to be try re Oh, this is a good sign. Okay, that's... <laughs> Maybe the, maybe there was some dust on that uh, uh, <laughs> SSD. <laughs> okay, English, English. Windows install. All right, I think at this point it's pretty obvious that the that the installation of the hard drive was successful, as the computer is actually able to boot.